I'm here with Joint Manager of Avro, David Birch. Uh, Birchy, another good result. Can you walk us through the game and how the boys performed today? Fantastic result for us, that. You know, they had a good team. Big, strong, organised. Uh, got some good players. You know, they've got the big lad, Matt Reed up front, who's an handful at any level. I'd always get, get into the end of his career, I would have thought, but still an handful. Uh, I thought first 20 minutes we was outstanding. I think we, you know, we, we, the football we played was, was, was brilliant. We opened them up, Liam Ellis scored another great goal, you know, he's, and he deserves that for his work rate, what he does, but it's another great finish by Liam, goal 1-0 up. And then I think we took our foot off the gas a little bit, and I don't think they overly pressed us that with any aggression, and I think we sort of took our foot off the gas thinking it was a bit easy hose, when, and then they upped it, <clears throat> and for probably the last 20 minutes of the first half, they were probably the better team and caused us a few problems. And that's what we addressed in the, in the uh, half time. You know, we said we took our foot off the gas a little bit and uh, probably invited them into the game. Uh, and then at half time, you know, we, we, we changed some things after about 10 minutes. We changed the formation, put young AJ on. He deserved his chance, scored a great goal. He deserved that, you know, he's been patient, he wants to play football. Great player, great lad. So I was over the moon for him and then. To be honest, I think there was only one team going to score the next goal as well. I think it was us. We had numerous chances there. Keepers made a couple of saves. We should have had a penalty. How the referees not give that? I'll never know. I mean, he gave it outside. He was five yards in the box. Uh, so, yeah, we was the only team that was going to go on and get another goal, I think. So, it was a great performance all round, you know, against a very tough team. So, over the moon. The lads have done brilliant and, uh, and on we go. And how was the performance after the halftime talk? Were you quite happy with that they responded to what you said? And uh, does that kind of fill you in with confidence that they are listening and they do want to put their best foot forward? Of course, yeah. Listen, the lads, the lads, you know, listen to what we say and what we ask them to do. Sometimes, you know, the formation that we're playing at the minute it is quite brave. Uh, it does leave us exposed in sometimes in certain areas, and you know, I think. Second half, the game was a bit scrappy, and when we changed it, we changed the formation when AJ went on. And I think it just gave us that foothold back in the game, and we got con control of the game again. And I think it was a better side, like I say, we, we, we looked like threatening going forward. You know, uh, Darren's had a good chance, you know, Benny's had a good chance, keepers made a couple of good saves. So, all in all, yeah, quite a good performance. Football's quite a funny game. I remember a few weeks ago we were talking and, and our morale was probably uh, very different to what it is now. Free on a trot. Uh, wins, that is, for Avro um, after today's performance. Um, what does that mean going forward for the team and, and building confidence? It's credit to them in there because you know we lost a couple on the bounce, two or three on the bounce. Very unlucky in them games. It was always in the games that we'd lost. You know, no, one, no one's really uh, you know, beat us comfortably uh, <clears throat> other than Chase Town. But it's, it's credit to them because you can quite easily go the other way. But, you know, work hard, hard work and work rate has got us them three wins. And we've got enough quality in the side. We know that all over the park. You know, we've got a lot of quality, a lot of experience. And I've said this even when we was getting beat. I believe in every single one of them in there. Uh, and the hard work and, and belief. And it's just got us, you know, three wins on the bounce. But we've just got to keep carrying on. You know, it's a very, very tough league. We've got Stafford Rangers Tuesday. Another very, very tough place to go. So every game that comes, you look at it and you just think, you know, it's a, it's a very, very tough game. But the lads have given us everything. We've got a few niggles in there, so we'll see how we are for Tuesday. But uh, yeah, onwards and upwards. And as you mentioned, Tuesday, quick turnaround uh, out of Stafford. Uh, have you been there before? Do you know much about that team? And uh, do, are you going to change much from today's sort of uh, formations and, and playing roster? Play, played there myself, yeah, many times. Uh, Try and get a, a video over the weekend, have a look at them, and, and then we'll just take it from there. Will we change? Probably not. You know, we, we, we sort of go and take the game to them, and, and we do it our way. Uh, but we'll see what injuries we've got, a few niggles in there, so we'll just see what we like after the weekend, one day, and then we'll take the squad from there. Perfect. And lastly, anything else that you want to add at all, mate, or um, any comments on, on how the season's um, shaping up so far? No, no, nothing. We'll just keep working hard, keep going. Uh, it's about keeping momentum now there's a lot of players in there that aren't getting you know that are on the bench that want to play these players that are not in the squad that want to play and it's very difficult we've got a very very good squad of players got a couple of lads still injured you know Sam Rathbone's not really featured all season because of an injury when he comes back he'll want to play you know uh, Dom's injured Craig Khan is you know not been involved today he was on the bench but didn't go on fantastic footballer so we've got a lot of people 
you know, chomping at the bit, and it's, it's down to me not to try and keep them happy. It's difficult, and it's it's not nice sometimes leaving people out, but it's about winning, unfortunately, and that's what we've got to do. We we pick the team and the squad that we think can, can win us a game every week. There you go. So you've heard from our gaffer about today's game and leading into uh, the Stafford away on Tuesday. Uh, please keep an eye on social media. We will have more about that fixture and future ones as well. Thanks very much, David. Cheers, mate.